particular. Telemedicine is not about building barriers. It's about increasing access. It's about putting providers where they're not. It's about adding additional consultation, additional information, additional resources, additional services, but not about creating barriers. Um, our goal is to assist people with disabilities in any way possible. And that partnership and that goal was reached even better whenever we do have folks like St. Francis and other professionals in the area. I want you to all take advantage of the exhibitors. I want to thank all those exhibitors who are here today. Uh, you know, technology is one of these things that's constantly evolving and constantly changing. And the vendors were here last year, there's some of them that's the carryovers, and they have new technologies. And take advantage of those. Look around what's going on in the area of assistive technologies to help everyone in their day-to-day -day life with quality of life issues as well. Conversation is really what it's all about. And today we celebrate in this wonderful expo a fantastic opportunity for communication based upon some tremendous elements of mission. The mission is, at this expo, that we want to be able to deliver the very best care, the very best care to those that we understand are a part, a vital part of this community that is our humanity. But not only do we take care of people who need help, we have a special interest in those in the 12th who take care of those in the 12th. That's you. There's no replacing what you do. The brilliance of your research, the tender care in which you administer your business to the individual citizens who come to you, there's no way to put it into words other than to simply say thank you and let you know that your congressman deeply appreciates the fact that you do what you do. One of the first things I want to do is to find out everything that's going on in the federal government that's related to telehealth and then try to have it coordinated in a more rational manner. That's one of the things that I see as uh, an issue. There are a lot of things happening, but nobody knows what's happening and where it's happening, how it's happening. So that work group that I mentioned earlier today, the FedTel, Federal Telehealth Work Group, that's one of our first goals, to just kind of take an inventory of what's happening. And then, once we know what's happening, find a way that we can do it in a more coordinated manner. Uh, partnerships are critical. There's no way that our office could do everything that we need to do without working in partnership with other organizations within the federal government and outside the federal government. One of the things that I've learned about SIRMUSA is that they are doing some of the things that we want others to do. So I feel that SIRMUSA has some model programs that should be shared with other organizations across the country. So it would be wonderful if we could take advantage of uh, some of the expertise that they have, share it within our offices, share it with the Office of the National Coordinator for Health Information Technology, and also publicize it out to some of our other networks so they can learn from what SIRMUSA is already doing.